Hello and welcome to The Globe on SABC News. I'm Lulu Gabu. Thank you for joining us. On to our top story, the prelim preliminary results of the recent general elections in Mozambique are expected to be announced next week. This is because delays have been experienced in the counting of the ballots at regional level. The Mozambique National Electoral Commission says it has postponed its planned media briefing to table the outcome of the preliminary results due to the delays. The Electoral Commission spokesperson Paul Kunika says the counting of ballots is continuing but at a snail's pace. The observer missions deployed to monitor Mozambique's elections held on Tuesday have presented their preliminary reports on the country's electoral process. SADC, the African Union, the Commonwealth, the Electoral Institute for Sustainable Democracy in Africa and the Electoral Observation Mission of the Community of Portuguese-speaking Countries held a joint media briefing in Maputo. They commended the country for holding peaceful elections despite the squabbles in some voting stations and the insurgency in the northern parts. The observer missions have called on Mozambique to improve party funding, simplify and quicken the voting process, which was generally observed to be slow on the voting day. For the latest update on the Mozambican election, we are now joined on the line from Maputo by journalist Paul Fauvet. Paul, good evening and thank you so much for joining us good on evening. The Globe. Now, Paul, who are the front runners as we speak? Well, firstly, it is not true that the ballots are being, uh, being counted right now. The ballots have all been counted already on the night of polling night, on polling day. All the ballots are counted at the polling stations. The results from the polling stations are supposed to be uh, put on the wall of the polling station for public knowledge. So anyone who could go round enough polling stations on Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, would know who won. What's happening now, what's taking time, is the tabulation of these results at district level, after which there will be tabulation at provincial level, and finally at national level. The reason why these things take so long is because the Mozambican uh, electoral bodies, the National Elections Commission, the Provincial Elections Commission, and their executive bodies, the Electoral Administration Technical Secretariats, are deeply, deeply politicized at every level of these bodies, there are members of the political parties looking over each other's shoulders, arguing with, with each other and slowing things down uh, under an extremely complicated uh, electoral law, which I don't think has uh, equivalent anywhere else in the world. Uh, the three main parties, the ruling Frelimo Party, the two opposition parties, Renamo and the Muslim Democratic Movement, MDM, these three parties have people appointed at every level of the electoral apparatus, and that's a recipe for chaos. Now, Paul, why the, 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 the different media statements with regards to um, the counting of the votes, why are they not being upfront and honest? I'm not sure you under, I, I, uh I understand what in you mean. In terms of, you just mentioned the fact that uh, the, vo the voting has been, has been done, numbers are out, but nothing is being released. Why are they saying oh, that it has counting... Been, it has been, they have been released. They have been released. Anyone who, count, who goes to the polling stations will see them on the walls. And, of course, journalists and observer groups uh, have collated them. Uh, and we now know, uh, now know, we now have the results in, uh, from hundreds and thousands of polling, of polling stations. We know those results. It's just that the official bodies have not yet collated, collated them. We know uh, that uh, Freema has won these elections. We know that President Philippe Nussi has won a second term. Uh, we know that Nussi is polling at about 70%, and uh, that's from a sample of 2,000. Uh, polling, polling stations. Uh, these things are not secret. Now, Paul, the international observers have highlighted uh, some concerns over the elections in Mozambique. Um, this include what they called unleveled uh, playing fields. Yes, that was, the, that was the European Union. Yes, it's clear that the playing, playing field is, is, is uneven. It's clear that Frimo, uh has many more resources than the opposition parties have. Some of this is just a natural uh, function of being the, being the ruling party. Others, uh, an abusive uh, approach towards state property, with uh, Freeman candidates using 
state cars and state uh, other state assets in the in the campaign. Freema is also a very well established party. It was a party that fought the war against Portuguese colonial rule. It was the party that built the Mozambican uh, state immediately after independence. It's been here as long as, as long as any voter can remember, and. Um, it has that historical um, balance sheet, uh, which is a great uh, starting point, whereas the opposition parties are more recent and uh, some of them have uh, very poor records. Renamo, as I'm sure you know, Renamo was set up by the Smith regime in what was then southern Rhodesia and was then uh, transferred lock, stock and barrel uh, to the apartheid regime in South Africa. Uh, it has tried to transform itself from a military body into a political party um, with varying degrees of success, but it's very hard to, le le to, play it to um, get over that history. Now, observers also highlighted a climate of fear and obstruction of campaigns. Talk to us about this. Oh, yes. I mean, there's, uh, uh, there, was a, there is uh, a lot of obstruction, or what, during, the, during the campaign there was a lot of obstruction, quite illegally, Frimo people in various districts obstructed the motorcades of uh, opposition candidates, and also quite illegal, illegally, um, they stopped uh, opposition candidates from holding rallies in certain public areas in violation uh, of, the electoral, of the electoral law. But the worst thing that happened during the campaign was certainly the assassination of uh, a prominent electoral observer, Anastasia Matavel in the southern city of Shai Shai. And that assassination was carried out by a death squad, which turned out to, be con to consist of policemen. So we now know for certain that there are death squads inside the Mozambican police. Now, the voter registrar also came into question, and this is by the EU. Um, what details do you have about that? Uh, there has been a, a row going on about voter registration for months. Uh, the problem is that in Gaza province, uh, the voter registration has been inflated. Uh, there are, there, on the voter registration, there are about 330,000 people who cannot possibly exist. We know that because uh, of the projection from the 2017 population census. Uh, population census should be the basis for voter registration. But uh, somebody in Gaza decided to add a lot of ghost voters uh, to the census. Uh, the importance of this is that uh, parliamentary seats are allocated uh, in proportion to the number of registered voters uh, in any uh, province. Uh, that means that Gaza uh, suddenly got an extra eight members of parliament, which it certainly does not deserve. Paul, that's it for now. Thank you for joining us. We'll leave it there for now. That was a Mozambican journalist Paul Fove joining us uh, from Maputo um, on to other.